Hey, first of all, I want to welcome you all here today to our first, this is our first annual and our first presentation of our new awards program that we're putting together for the Franklin County Varsity Sports Report. Um, I know that there's some folks who aren't familiar with the show and there are many people who are. Um, what it is is for the last three years, I started a sports program on GCTV and also on the FCAT here in South Deerfield. Each week what I do is, is I interview and I also do sports updates throughout the season and also throughout the year to be able to talk about how the kids are doing in their sports programs at every school here in Franklin County. And it's all six schools. So we've been doing this now for three years. It's turned out to be very successful, especially with the way technology is today. Come on in guys, just getting started. Um, with, with the way technology is today, it's made it really special for us because we've had the opportunity to be able to have people watch the shows from their tablets, they can do it from their phones. Um, it's not just that you have to sit home and be able to sit and watch it on TV or wonder when it's gonna be on. Because if you go to the FCAT and you go to their um, page, you can be able to watch every episode. If you go to gctv.org, every episode is on there. I've interviewed um, a few of the folks that are here on my show over the last three years. Um, it's been a blessing to be able to have the opportunity to do that. Um, I had a beautiful interview with Aaron, um, Aaron Thayer, coach of Greenfield Field Hockey. Uh, Megan Davis has been on my show, Wyatt and RJ have been on my show, Coach Point's been on my show. Um, so we've been very blessed and uh, we're hoping to be able to get more. That's our goal is to be able to get more of the kids and more of the interviews available for us to be able to do this for them. But what I thought was nice about today is to just say a big thank you to the great achievements that were done by our local athletes and our coaches. So. What we've decided to do is, is our special medallion that we give for our team. What we're gonna do is, is I'd like to get our coach to do the special push for us, which Coach Bill, and also if we can get the same thing um, for Coach Kerr Richardson to be able to do at the tech school. We'd like to have the medallion for the team sports to be able to see if we can have these put in your trophy case over at the school. So that way this award can be able to be in there with all the other awards. Everything is all um, engraved, so it has the information about the team and what their accomplishment was. And I thought that that would be a wonderful thing for each one of you guys to be able to do for these kids. Because I think that they worked really hard and what better than to be able to have it showcased inside of their own gym. All right, I think that that would be wonderful in their own school. And uh, so that's why we want to do this. And like I said, this is our first time and uh, we're, we're, we're gonna go right we're gonna go right after it right now let's do it uh, first of all I'd like to call up our first recipient here today uh, the girls soccer MVP for Franklin County this year goes to Natalie Denkowitz of Frontier Regional High School <laughs> Natalie, you can put that on. Just put that on. And then we'll, we'll, we'll smile. You know how many times I have to smile for the camera today? <laughs> All right, there we go. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. I don't think she's here today because she wasn't sure if she was going to be able to make it, um, but she did forewarn me about that. But our coach of the year for girls soccer this year is someone that I thought did something really special for the program that really needed something, a little boost. And this year, our coach of the year for girls soccer goes to Tina Rydell from Greenfield High School for what she was able to do to get the girls into the playoffs this year. For the so we'll get that to Coach Tina Rydell. Okay, next, boys soccer. Our boys soccer award this year is a team award. The boys soccer team at the Franklin County Tech this year ended up going 18 and two. Of course, a lot of people had a lot of buzz going on and on Facebook especially about how does a team that goes 18 and two get put into a different division and, and, and end up being the last seed in their division. What it is, is, is that Frontier and some of these other schools, Belchertown, they're a division above, okay? 
But because the tech school and Turners are a merged program now, they have to go by the population of students between the two schools as part of the co-op program. So with that said, they did play a Division IV schedule throughout the year, and all the teams that they ended up playing were in Division IV, but unfortunately, they had to go into the playoffs as a Division III team. So when people were seeing an 18-2 and two team as a last seed in Division III, people were like, what's going on? Well, now you know the reasoning. That's exactly what happened. But with that said, 18 and 2 this year, our special award for Franklin County Soccer Boys Team is Franklin County Tech Turners. Congratulations, boys. Seriously, congratulations on a great season. You guys had a great year. Uh, this guy right here, he's been coaching for a long time, too. And our coach of the year for boys soccer this year goes to Coach Kurt Richardson with his 18 <laughs> You say, wow, that's what you say. And the success that this team has had has just been absolutely incredible. And every year, you open up the paper and another Western Mass Championship, another trip to the States, another state championship, another trip to Western Mass. It just keeps going and going. And this year, our MVP for girls volleyball goes to Olivia Dean from... say Western Mass. She wasn't able to be here today because her grandmother's having a birthday and she's up there in age and the family wants to be able to make as many birthdays as possible. So she wasn't able to make it here today. But you guys have all heard of the name Reagan Hickey. She's an incredible athlete and she's an incredible person too. But she is our field hockey player of the year and she's also part of the Hunter Gold Club which she was joined this year by also Cassidy Wozniak from Turner's. They both hit the 100 club this year. You know, they both have had that in their career. You know how hard it is to score 100 goals in field hockey? You only get one point. You knock it in. It's 100 times. Think about how many times 100 is, you know? It's a long time, and that'll work. So congratulations. Reagan Hickey gets our award. Well, the story about the coach of our year this year for field hockey is a great story because she started these girls in eighth grade to be able to build up them through the field hockey program at Greenfield. And as we know, the Greenfield field hockey program is pretty special. But also, there's another school in Franklin County that's pretty special when it comes to field hockey as well. And that's right here in this town at Frontier Regional and coach Missy Phillips and the great job that she has done as well. But this year, with the unbelievable season that they had, the great rivalry between Greenfield and Frontier when it comes to them getting together for field hockey is just absolutely awesome. And you wanna talk about a packed place, it's because everybody comes out to support these girls. And this year, we give our Coach of the Year Award to the one and only Aaron Thayer. Thank you very much, honey. Congratulations. 
Awesome job. Yep, and I got Reagan's for you. There you go. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. As we move on, wow. Here's another kid I can sit for for a second. I'm crippled, that's why. Um, this next girl is just an amazing person, amazing athlete, conditioning, head is on straight. I have a lot of respect for this kid. Had a chance to interview her. She's one of the best runners in the country. Not Franklin County, not Massachusetts, not New England. She's one of the best runners in the country. And our cross country MVP for 2018, Megan Davis from Mohawk Road Regional High School. Yes. Congratulations. All right. Keep doing what you're doing. Now, listen, I'm going to let you take this, but I'm going to talk about him. I'll let you take this with you. All right. Thank you. Well, I don't know if you folks know this or not, but. Her coach is, believe it or not, the most winningest coach of any sport in the state of Massachusetts. And he's right up on the hill. You don't really hear a lot about him, but he truly is an amazing coach. And that is Coach Joe Chadwick. He coaches the field hockey, I mean, he coaches the uh, cross country and the track and field teams up at Mohawk. He also runs the indoor program that they run during the winter time. He is truly committed to the community up there on the hill at Mohawk Trail Regional High School, and he is our Coach of the Year for the girls cross country this year. Well, someone said, oh, I guess you picked the wrong day to be able to have a couple of guys show up today because they're having their banquet as we are sitting here right now. The boys cross country team is having their banquet at the school right now at Frontier Regional High School. So unfortunately, our MVP can be here and also our coach of the year couldn't be here as well because they're both up at the school. But our cross country MVP of the year is an amazing talent, a great athlete, a great kid. Carson Carey is our winner this year. And the winner of our coach of the year for boys cross country this year is also the coach of Frontier Regional, and that is Coach Bob Smith. So we'll, uh, we'll get those to those guys. Gonna catch up with them during the week. As we continue on, this is the fun one right here. You know, you always say that it's nice to be able to have a team that can be able to do special things. And we just talked about the Tech School going 18 and two this year, a special group of kids that Coach Richardson had over at the Tech School. Well, Coach Bill Fitzpatrick has a pretty good group of guys too. And this year was absolutely incredible watching what you guys were able to do as a team this year. Every time I opened up the paper and got my information that I would get from Mass Live and stuff like that, I would see always the first five or six guys that are in there every single match was Frontier, 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 Frontier. It's because of the great talented group of guys that you had on your team this year. And the sad thing is, is that your talent's so good that even some of you guys that are younger who are also performing very well, you may not have been one of the top five or six, but you're still right in there. You guys are still right there. So to me, I feel that the future's pretty bright for Frontier Golf. And I just want to say that with you guys being able to do what you did, this is going to be great if we can get this in the showcase. It says Frontier Golf, league champions, Western Mass runner-ups, and a state finalist. 2018, ladies and gentlemen, Frontier Golf. Very well represented here today too, folks. Very well represented. All right, congratulations guys on a wonderful season. Very proud of each and every one of you guys. Coach Bill, stay right here, buddy. Good job guys, thank you.
Coach Milton's back. You and I go back a long way, my friend. Yes. <laughs> but I just want to say the job that you've done, the golfer that you are, the coach that you are to the kids, you're not afraid to turn the wrench a little bit and let them know that they can push a little harder. It's good. That's what makes you a good coach, brother. And for what you guys were able to accomplish this year, to be able to do what you guys wanted to do. You said you wanted to win Western Mass in your league, and you really wanted to get to the States. Well, guess what? You made it. And this right here is an award to say thank you for the great job you've done as the Coach of the Year for Boys Golf this year. Thank you. Thanks for getting the kids here, too. Hey, That's no a great turnout right here from these guys. Awesome. All right. We're down to our final three awards. And boy, talk about something special in 2018. You never hear much about anybody running for 2,000 yards in a year. You hear 1,000 quite a bit. Many of the kids from Frontier have had that success running for 1,000 yards. But 2,000 yards? How about in Franklin County, out of our football teams that we have here, having two guys, two guys, run for 2,000 yards in the same season? It happened. And they both play each other every single year as well. This turned out to be pretty special, and they honestly played against each other twice this season. And if the way things balanced out, they could have had a chance of playing each other three times in a season. That's the way it worked out with how the seedings could have been for the playoffs. But Wyatt Keith and RJ Bird, both, they both got 2,000 yards. And how RJ got it was pretty wild, man. Turkey Day, the guy like ran like a deer that day. And I think between both teams on Turkey Day, I think they had over 600 yards on the ground between Wyatt and RJ. It was, it was a great Turkey Day game, by the way. It was a really, really exciting game. And so we want to give our first award here today to the guy who ended up winning the league with the most, of, most yards in the season. And of course, he is part of the 2,000 yard club. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Wyatt Key. This is even better. He's a Pioneer kid who played for the Turner's team. So he gets to have his Pioneer roots inside the Turner's Falls gym. <laughs> All right, my brother. Congratulations. Awesome season, dude. Awesome season. All right. I do not see RJ here. So he told me that he wasn't sure if he was going to be back. He uh, sees his dad on the weekends. And now that football's over, he has an extra time with his, with his family. He lives down, his father lives down in Springfield area, so he wasn't able to make it today, but I already talked with him and I will get his medallion to him. Final award. Man, I love this guy. This guy's been one of my buddies for a long time, and I'm gonna tell you what I love about this guy. This guy cares about the kids, cares about his community, Make sure that his team does community service and does stuff for the community when they play for him because he believes in the old saying that you have to be able to not only be good to your team and to yourself, but you also need to be good to your community. And this guy, doing what he does for a living as a state police officer and the respect that you have to give a guy like this is why the success at Turner's Falls High School has been so amazing for their football program. And ever since Chris LaPointe has showed up as their football coach, things have really started to happen at Turner's Falls High School, bringing football back after many down years. And it's because of the intense work that he has these kids do, and how can you take a team of 18 or 20 players and do what he does to go to Super Bowls? Says a lot about what he can get out of each and every one of those players. And look what he did with Wyatt Keith this year, a 2,000 yard runner at Turner's Falls High School. You know, we can say what we want about a coach like Chris, because maybe Chris can be a little hard, maybe he can be a little tough, but you know what? Sometimes that toughness is what 
sort of carries you to become a better player. And then later in life, you realize, as you become older and more mature, that you realize that he is the reason why I did good things in my life. He was a good mentor for me. So my coach of the year this year for football, Chris Point, Turner's Falls High School. We love doing it throughout the year. Once again, it is on the FCAT. It's also on GCTV. I will let you guys know when it will be all done and ready to go on the FCAT for today's performance and our, our nice award ceremony so that we can be able to share this with the community. But also, you can be able to share it with your family and friends who weren't able to be here today. But I want to say thank you so much and do us one favor. Please support your local athletes. Have a great night, everyone. Thank you.